In this video, you will learn how to fix Microsoft Authenticator app not working. Many people use this app for two-factor authentication. But sometimes, the app may not work as it should. If you are having trouble, don't worry, I will go through some easy steps to help you fix it. First things first, ensure your iPhone is connected to a strong and reliable internet connection. This can be either Wi-Fi or cellular data. Also, check that you are not connected to any VPNs, as they can interfere with the app's functionality. Next, let's check if low power mode is enabled. This feature can limit background activity for apps. In settings, tap on battery, then look for low power mode. If it's turned on, toggle it off. Now that we've checked connectivity and power settings, let's move on to the Microsoft Authenticator app itself. Go back to the main settings page, tap on general, then select iPhone storage. Here, you'll see all installed apps. Scroll down until you find Microsoft Authenticator. Tap on it, then choose offload app. This will remove the app but keep its data intact. After offloading, tap reinstall app. Wait for it to download again from the App Store. If reinstalling didn't solve your issue, let's check if all necessary permissions are granted for Microsoft Authenticator. Open Settings. Scroll down until you reach Apps. Then select Microsoft Authenticator from the list of apps. Make sure all permissions such as Face ID access, notifications, background app refresh, and cellular data usage are allowed. Once all permissions have been checked and adjusted accordingly, it's time for a quick device restart. And there you have it, by following these steps, checking your internet connection, disabling low power mode, offloading and reinstalling the app, adjusting permissions, and restarting your device, you should be able to resolve any issues with Microsoft Authenticator not working correctly. So that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions about this whole process, please let me know in the comments section below. And if this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.